I'm Troy Kirby with my Edmonds News with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. The House Rural Development, Agriculture, and Natural Resources Committee heard public testimony for Second Substitute Senate Bill 5045, which would establish a state meat and poultry inspection program. The bill passed the Senate 48-0 on March 2nd and would have to pass the House to make its way to the governor's office to be signed into law. According to the USDA, across all grade cuts for beef, um, particularly in choice, the cost per pound average is $5.22 across the Northwest as of March 12th of this year. In comparison, a family can purchase 300 pounds of beef in bulk from a butcher shop for approximately $3.30 a pound. There are two big ifs in that scenario. The first is, do you have the ability to purchase in bulk and store it? And do you have the availability of a butcher shop? For people who have neither the funds nor the ability to store a bulk purchase of meat, having additional inspection and marketing services available from a local butcher shop gives you more opportunity uh, to buy a lower cost per pound product. We are very pleased by the thoughtful attention that the sponsors of this bill, the committees, and a wide range of stakeholders are giving to this important issue and to this bill which responds to longstanding challenges faced by our small-scale meat processors and producers. These are challenges that came into much greater relief during the past year. Despite the well-meaning intentions, um, I think there's a level of naivete or perhaps misguided information regarding the um, viable options for small and mid-scale producers of meat and poultry. I agree with Fred in that there is a lot of um, confusion in the industry around what different options are for producers to get their meat to market and what the regulatory requirements are for different marketing channels. Um, There's a shortage in capacity, as Senator Warnick mentioned, in the meat and poultry processing arena, especially for medium and small producers. And the the bill would help address that uh, limitation in capacity. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by My Edmonds News, covering the 2021 legislative session.